On March 16, 1974, the Oakland Athletics did something no one had ever done before. They signed a pinch runner, Herb Washington, who was a sprinter and hadn't played baseball since his sophomore year in high school. Here's a story behind this new concept on Daily Sports History. Welcome to Daily Sports History. I'm Ethan Reese, your guide to a rapid deep dive into sports history every day. Now, back in the 1970s, the Oakland Athletics were really a part of a dynasty. Between 1972 and 1974, they won the World Series three times in a row. Only the second team to ever do that, besides the Yankees. With Hall of Famers and superstars on their team, Reggie Jackson and Catfish Hunter. But in 73, the American League decided to add the designated hitter position, giving more flexibility and more scoring power to the league. But that wasn't the position the Oakland A's were focused on. They wanted to focus on a position rarely used, the pinch runner. In baseball, a pinch runner is when a player is substituted for a player that has got on base. Now, this would mean the player that made the hit would be out of the game. So it was normally done towards the end of the game when runs were needed, but it gave a skilled runner or a faster runner the chance to steal bases or score a run better. And this was something that the owner of the Oakland A's, Charlie Finley, thought was a great opportunity to fill his last roster spot with, a player that could outrun anyone else and give them the best chance to score a run or two. He thought if you had a good runner, This could win you over 10 games in a year, as most Major League Baseball games are relatively close, so that little edge could give you the nod. And before 1974, he had great success with a player named Alan Lewis, who appeared in 156 games for the A's, but only played in the field 10 times, and was really focused on being a pinch runner. But Lewis was getting older as he just turned 32, and Finley was looking for someone with even more speed. And that's when he came across a sprinter named Herb Washington. Now, Herb had actually played baseball in high school, but his main focus was track and field. And in high school, he ran the 100-yard dash in 9.4 seconds, which attracted numerous scholarship offers, and he chose to go to Michigan State, where he became a four-time All-American and won an NCAA title, and while there, set the world record for the 50 and 60 yard dash. After college, though, he tried to make a chance to go to the NFL and was drafted in the 13th round by the Baltimore Colts, but he never played for them as he was trying to keep his amateurism for the 1972 Summer Olympics. But unfortunately, he did not qualify for those Olympics. And after that, he was looking for other opportunities. And that's when he got a call from Charlie Finley of the Oakland A's, who told him he didn't want him to actually play in the field. He just wanted him to be a pinch runner. Herb agreed, as long as he got a no-cut contract, which means at no point could he be cut from the team without getting full payment, which is something at the time was not common and was only given to the superstar athletes, such as their Hall of Famers, Catfish Hunter and Reggie Jackson, but Herb knew that they could cut him at any time, especially since he didn't play a position every day. So they ended up negotiating a contract, giving him a one-year deal for $45,000 with a $20,000 signing bonus, which is roughly $270,000 a day. And Herb was so specialized that his baseball card actually said, Hinch Runner during that season, where he participated in 92 games, stealing 29 runs and 29 bases, which was good enough for 7th in the league, which is pretty good considering he didn't play all the games and was only, would only get a chance to run about one time a game. But, of course, he did get caught stealing 16 times as well, which only three other players in the league had done that year. But it always gave pitchers and catchers a thought when he was there to keep an eye on him 
as this was speed they hadn't seen. But the A's had a good season that year and made it to the playoffs. And in the ALCS, unfortunately, he got in the game and got picked off. But they were able to make the World Series where he appeared in two games and got a ring when they won the World Series. He appeared in a few more games the year after but was cut as they wanted someone who would play the field because he was the first player that is not a pitcher to play over 100 games in Major League Baseball and never attempt one at bat. This experiment has not really been done since, but it wouldn't surprise me in this day and age of analytics if it were make a comeback. Thank you for listening to today's Daily Sports History. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please follow us on our socials. We're Daily Sports History at Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and YouTube, and Threads. Trying to get everywhere for you. We, we have great little videos for every story, so you can see pictures and videos of the topic. And please come back tomorrow for more Daily Sports History.